What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, so for today's video, I'll be talking about how to restart or how to reset your shaders. Now, this is extremely useful um, at the beginning of each season or whenever you update your drivers or even whenever you guys are just experiencing some weird texture issues or just issues with the graphics in general, it's best that you restart your shaders or that you reset your shaders. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Um, the traditional way which is pretty much in your settings so you can go into your settings graphics and um, pretty much in the display tab you don't even need to go to the quality or view tab display scroll down and then as soon as you start you find restart shaders preloading you can click this and click restart pretty much uh, it will tell you here that it deletes the shaders cache now i have been flamed and i have been uh ridiculed or mocked by certain people by the way i say cash i used to say cache um i use them interchangeably just because here in canada more specifically in quebec where it's a very french dominant province we say cache just because that's where it, um the noun or the word comes from it comes from the verb cache which is to hide but yeah anyways I'll say cash, cache interchangeably, um, but let me know in the comment section if you guys say cache or cache. But anyways, yeah, it says it deletes the shaders cache and preload all shaders. Um, basically, from the beginning, it just wipes everything. And then when you load back into the game, it will uh, load them back. And you're going to see like in the corner, in the top left corner in here, um, there is a percentage. So, yeah, once you click restart shaders preloading, you could pretty much exit your game quit to desktop and then there's also another way to do it which i prefer to do um personally speaking so if you are using battle.net click this little cog wheel where it says options and then you will go to show an explorer click retail click cod 23 shader cache and you can pretty much open all of this and delete these now don't forget to get your recycling bin and delete these 239 items. Those are all of your textures and uh, pretty much like your whole shader cache. Yeah, it's gonna delete them, but don't be afraid. It's not gonna like screw up your game. It's pretty much just gonna delete the textures. You could even delete this file if you want. All right, and so for all of my Steam users, you guys could pretty much just uh, right click in your game, go to manage, and there should be an option that says browse local files uh, like this. And then you could pretty much just find your shader cache and then do the same thing, delete it. All right, and once that's deleted, go back to your game, reopen it. All right, so upon uh, reopening your game, as you guys can see here, it says shaders preloading at 0%. Obviously, you just have to wait until this goes to 100. I wouldn't recommend you touching your game or even doing anything uh, just because it slows down the process. Just stay in the main menu and uh, let it complete. Now, sometimes uh, there have been instances where people told me that it wouldn't start or it would take really a lot of time. So what I would recommend you guys doing is pretty much just loading up into like a game mode, for example, uh, just because uh, this is the only way to do it. Now, you, you're gonna wanna go to the firing range. So go to your weapons, click firing range. Now, sometimes it will stop but there are also some times where it will actually start it. So if it's at zero and it doesn't start, I would recommend you going to the firing range and see if it starts. Now you can leave. And if it doesn't start, then um, I would recommend you restarting the process. So you, you could do it differently. You could delete your cache, um, shader cache from like the files, or you could do it from here. You could even restart your PC um, and you know, just do things in different orders and just see if it works. That's just how um, it works sometimes with the game. It's just kind of weird, but yeah. So like I said, pretty much just wait until this becomes 100% and you should be set to go. One last thing before I leave, I would like to talk to you guys about um, NVIDIA settings or NVIDIA control panel. So if you do have an NVIDIA graphics card, just like me, I would recommend you setting your uh, shader cache size to 100 gigabytes or to unlimited if you have a lot of space and if uh, you don't run into any issues. 
I personally just like to run 100 gigs. I feel like it's just not necessary to go to unlimited, but there's some instances where actually I feel like it is actually good to go to unlimited and make sure not to touch with anything that has to do with textures. Just leave everything at default and uh, yeah, you should be good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao, ciao, ciao.